education in mathematics is so poor that uh, we uh, aren't even taught about uh, concepts like phi. Uh, most people have heard of pi, which is uh, the relationship of radii to their circumference of a circle. But phi is a uh, triangulated relationship. Um, it's generated out of squares. It's a, uh, a theoretical relationship um, uh, a geometrical one I suppose and it's the uh, the base uh, ratio that all of life is born out of so one would think that while being taught in school about an irrational number like pi which only refers to circles and their radii that perhaps we could possibly have been taught about phi which is an equally simple uh, irrational number to, to grasp uh, which refers to, well, everything in the universe. Uh, wonder why we were kept from knowing about that one, guys. Um, so we come down to, uh, I've actually had this argument in a forum recently about whether or not number uh, exists without thought. And it's certainly my assertion, although this chap would argue to lose blue in the face that it's not uh, the case, that in fact number is innate to the to, the universe without the need of any observer so uh, the fact that uh, you know what I mean the, the earth and the moon make two objects doesn't require an observer to imply that number uh, the number is is the descriptor and that the observer simply observes the descriptor that the number pre-exists so if uh, intellectually we are to uh, stretch our considerations of the worlds around us I think that it's very important that all of us make uh, as much of an effort as possible to become as numerate as possible um, uh, certainly another one that I know has been very much dropped from the curriculum now but that has served me immensely through life the most useful part of mathematic, uh, piece of mathematics that I was ever taught was the simple number bonds uh, the the, uh, the um, combinations of two numbers that add up to ten as simple as that and simply by uh, working with the um, the Deccan number bond I think it's uh, called in mathematical circles where one plus nine equals ten two plus eight five plus five etc etc um, simple uh, intellectual tools like that uh, enable you to uh, grapple with mathematics in a, uh, a visual sense um, in a proportional sense in your mind and uh, the other uh, useful tool that I use is guesstimation where I'll use guesstimation and comparison uh, if I uh, need a specific figure then obviously I'll go through the long-winded uh, business of doing the actual math. But if I only need to know roughly a kind of ballpark figure, then uh, guesstimation is the process of understanding uh, what effect a uh, reduction or an increase in a particular number in order to make that number more uh, easy to calculate uh, is. I mean, obviously, changing a small fraction beyond a decimal point in a uh, in a small uh, multiplication sum can have very little uh, wide-ranging uh, influence on the outcome, and therefore you could use that as a means of simplifying the uh, the mathematical consideration. So uh, it's it's a, you can't just simply simplify everything and then do the, the maths, although um, it will get you somewhere near the answer. Um, it's a matter of understanding the value of the changes that you make in relation to the, uh, the uh, particular um, mathematical value that you're putting it through, uh, addition and subtraction, um, rounding up and rounding down is just fairly straightforward, but when you start getting to division, long division and multiplication, uh, then small changes in value 
uh, when div- divided or multiplied can end up making large changes to the final outcome. Um, okay, uh, blimey, is that only two hours? I was just saying to, uh, it's Rob, isn't it? Rob? Ben. Ben. Oh, I knew it was a three letter bloody word with a B in it. I've got, I've got hordes of teenagers feed through the house constantly. So I'm trying to actually memorise. Uh, poor Ben is here waiting to give the, one of the young uns a drum lesson. And he's, uh, 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 I've completely forgotten what I was going to fucking say there. I've got too bloody stoned again, haven't I? I'm going to uh, put on a tune and go and put the kettle on, I think. Um, what have we got here? Um, oh, no, I'll have to go back in my bloody folder, won't I? Three hours seems such a long time when you've got to talk straight from the hip. One of these days I really would plan a programme, but I'm so busy researching other stuff that I can't generally bring to the air because uh, I want to crack it apart on a personal level. It's... Uh, uh, distracting to say the least oh let's put on a bit of uh, corporate cosmology a bit of uh... yeah that was uh, Mashinet and uh, Resurrection uh, before that we had uh, My Toys Like Me uh, and that was uh, was it Owl was it oh yeah it was wasn't it uh, I didn't think I was going to play that one um, and before that Jack Out the World and the Quantum Singularity with uh, Corporate Cosmology um, I'd uh, freshly in the chat box and and uh, this topic that I'm alluding to uh, being too adult I'm afraid is just too much of a goddamn elephant in the room for me uh, I I struggle greatly with uh, uh, biting my tongue if there's something on my mind and I don't think there has ever been a time in my life when there has been something that has been more on my mind than this topic so uh, I'm actually going to sign off the mic here and I'm just going to uh, uh, rev- revert to some uh, tunes to play out the last of me uh, hour here and I'm going to concentrate in the next couple of days on doing my very best to bring uh, the beginning of this expose and I kid you not, if if my researches are correct I have the uh, core break in society the, the, uh, the core... Uh, mechanism that drives every ill that we see in society that we are constantly told is insurmountable or incurable in some way or another and I now know that that just simply isn't damn true Uh, and I know that with my friends and with my researchers and with the uh, the referenced material that I hope to be able to bring to bear on the subject I really do hope to be able to blow the lid off of this for once and for all anyway I'm about drowned out hopefully you all know more about knowing now and uh, will be able to go off and get yourselves uh, highly educated highly informed and uh, 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 I suppose uh, uh, take your understanding of the observed universe that you find yourself immersed in this uh, holographic dream that we all share uh, that much more and uh, uh, this has been Freeman Jack on uh, TNS Radio for the Freeman League. Uh, good afternoon, folks, and uh, tune in on uh, Wednesday night at midnight, uh, midnight to 3 a.m. Uh, Thursday morning uh, to see what I've uh, stumped up in the meantime. Thanks a lot.